Well, welcome to our Roman study. I'm Greg Kauser, I'm one of the pastors here at EBC. Uh, I know I'm a familiar face to many of you, but if you're joining us for the first time, uh, we're glad that you're here among us and that you're going to join us in this study. We're uh, getting underway uh, in a year-long, at least a year-long study of the book of Romans. And uh, we want to encourage you uh, to get involved with us. We're looking forward to kind of plumbing the depths of this uh, rich and wonderful book and the resources that have, uh, that are, have been so important in the history of the church uh, and are so uh, integral and important for our own lives as, as followers of Jesus. Well, I hope you're not only going to pick up one of the notebooks, which we'll talk about in a moment, uh, about how to use those uh, so you can do your own personal study, but I hope you're joining a one another group so that you can learn together over the course of this time, have people to share it with, work out differences with, talk about application with, uh, and pray together and love one another and watch over one another. So we hope that this will be the context in which you discuss the book of Romans uh, for your blessing and the blessing of the people that God brings you together with. So if you need some uh, help getting connected with one another group, you may want to talk to Pastor Steve, Steve Ruffner, to do that. But please, we hope you'll get involved in one of those. Now, if you have your notebook, I just want to remind you uh, to try to get a pattern uh, over these next months of, of uh, getting your notebook out and your own quiet time. Find you a place to study. Uh, find you a time that will work for you. Schedule it right, like you do with any important thing. And it begins with just reading the passage and getting familiar with it and writing down some observations. Who's speaking? What's going on? What's the topic? Right, those kind of issues and write them down, make some observations, then it moves on to say, well, if you were to try to put it down in a couple sentences or two, what's this about? What's it about? So summarize it. And then as you think through it and summarize it, you want to spend a day or two saying if this is true about God and about myself, well then how does this affect the way I think or how I behave or the way I treat my friends or my spouse or, or my coworkers, right? Uh, how does it affect the way I think about myself and who I am? So those are all questions you want to probe. And then it gives you a space for something that you want to share with someone, something you learned. It could be uh, something, an insight that you were reminded of that you knew before, but now it's fresh and new. Or it could be something that you didn't know before. Or it could be you've got a question and you want to bring it to a brother or sister and say, what do you think about this? I was confused about it, right? But you're just going to share the things that you're learning. And then, of course, also, we're working through verse memory. And so we're trying to learn the Romans Road. If you were there this last Sunday, you heard Pastor Steve walk us through that. Well, we're trying to learn that together, to be reminded, really, of the basics of the gospel itself, who we were, uh, why we needed to be saved, what God did for us in Christ. All those things uh, are important. And so we're going to memorize those together as a church. So you want to make some time for that. Well, that's a little bit of where we are. Uh, so far, we've overviewed the book and talked about the big picture of who Paul is writing to in the city of Rome, of some of the circumstances of his writing, a big picture of the outline that's, for, that's uh, there written out for you in the notebook itself if you want to be reminded as you're studying. But this coming week, we begin in the book itself, and we're going to begin in Romans 1, verses 1 to 7. So this week, hopefully, as you're hearing, uh, seeing this video, you've already been working in Romans 1, 1 to 7, uh, and you're starting to figure out that Paul has really, uh, has really written a very elaborate introduction to a very long letter. And it gives you the sense that something important is to come uh, because Paul takes uh, real careful pains to establish who he is, what he's going to talk about, and what gives him the right to address this group of people that, as far as we know, he had never met before. And so I hope you're paying attention as you're reading to Paul's description of himself and what it says about him to the description of the message that he's going to be bringing to them and to uh, uh, what he assumes is his right to bring it and what he really hopes is the outcome. The one thing I, I, I'll just give you as a, an idea uh, in anticipation of the sermon is when Paul says he wants to bring the Gentiles to the obedience that
that comes from faith. I want you to think about that. For Paul, in some sense, a, a right belief, a right trust in Christ and what he's done leads into a life of obedience. Those two are inseparable. And so he can put them together. So what is it that has happened because of your belief in Christ that has resulted in a different way of living? How's that affecting you today? Well, any of it, I hope you're there on Sunday. I hope you're tuned in. I hope we get to sit there together and work through 1, 1 to 7 as we set the table for a banquet that we're going to enjoy in the book of Romans.